Beer to go in the 19th century came out of taverns. There were no liquor stores, there were no convenience stores. So if you were gonna get beer to go, it came out of a tavern. And most often that came in, the beer came in a pail of beer that you bring your pail to the bar, they'd stick it under the tap, fill it up, and you'd go home with your pail of beer. Bottled beer was uncommon in the 19th century, and part of it was that beer bottles were, were expensive to make. Beer bottles used to be blown one at a time. They blow out a bottle into a wooden mold. So imagine making a beer bottle, one beer bottle at a time, that that beer in that bottle was quite expensive because the bottle was so expensive to manufacture. So that really limited the amount of beer that was consumed in bottles. But uh, as technology improved, uh, new methods uh, came into being. And, uh, in uh, 1898, a man named Mr. Owen uh, patented a machine that would blow 150 beer bottles a minute mechanically. And that was transformative because you could make 150 beer bottles in a minute, the price of an individual bottle becomes much less expensive. So beer can begin to be bottled more cheaply. Uh, the federal government at that time taxed beer by the keg. So they originally forced brewers to brew a, keg, a beer, put it in a keg, and then decant it out, into the ke out of the keg into the individual bottles. And then those bottles were corked with corks and uh, they were put for sale. But it was Paps Brewing that convinced the precursor of the IRS to uh, allow them to meter beer as it's running through beer lines in the factory and then be put directly into the bottle. And that reduced labor costs, again, made beer more cheap. Uh, then mechanical filling lines, being able to fill bottles uh, with a machine, and the development of the crimped bottle cap were really important innovations. By 1900, the crimped uh, bottle cap, this was, this was called the crown cork cap because it had a little now we still use exactly the same uh, beer cap today, but we have a little piece of plastic in there that originally used to be a little piece of cork. And that's why it was called a crimp cork uh, cap. And this mechanical capping was the last piece in order to make bottled beer inexpensive enough that it could continue to be distributed.